It's the year 2100, and it's the 80th anniversary of Bishop McNeil Catholic Elementary. I'm 92 years old, and my name is Matthew Jamal Blah. I want to tell you the story of Halloween 2020. Wait, wait, let me get my digital opticals so I can read my notes. Hello class, I know it's Halloween, but today we're going to be doing the fourth part apology. Ugh, this is so annoying. Why do they make me do this? Matthew, don't be rude. One of the most important things you can learn in life is how to apologize. Can anyone give me an example of the fourth part apology? Maybe Did you somebody... guys see the basketball game last night? What a blow! Yes, Dylan? Thank you for raising your hand. For an example, let's say Michael rudely interrupted the class. Of course, he would never do this, but this is just for an example. So what would you say, Michael? I would say, one, I'm sorry for interrupting your class, Aaron. Two, it's wrong because it wastes everyone's time and it's disrespectful. In the future, I will keep myself from impulse to interrupt, squeeze my fists, and relax. Will you forgive me? Nice for part apology, Michael. Yes, I do forgive you. Now, before we continue, you guys can have a snack. I got it from the garden. I ripped the bark off the tree, too. I don't think you should do that. The bark protects the tree from insects and disease. What do you care? You're not the tree. Where am I? Don't ask me. I'm just snacking on these pumpkin things. Ask that thing. <laughs> Welcome to the Wonder Pumpkin. Lisi, it's more like a teacher than an evil spirit. In school, you reflect on your learning. Yes? And you ask yourself, your peers, your teacher, and your parents, for specific, actionable, descriptive feedback. Yes, all of our teachers at Bishop Mac can ask us to do that. Matthew, Lisi, Ava, do you notice where you are? Do you wonder why you're here? Um, not really, but these seeds are tasty. I noticed that we're in a pumpkin talking to a raccoon spirit. I wonder if it's because Matthew carelessly littered and I tore bark off a tree. You're observant and smart. Honest. That's exactly it. So what do we have to do to leave? The consequence has to fit the crime. There are three things you need to be free. One, you need to apologize. Ooh, now I wish I paid attention to Aaron's four-part apology lesson. Two, you need to promise to take care of nature. And three, you'll have to wait for your classmates to do a good deed for the environment to cancel out your bad deed. I'll show you how it's done, Matthew. Lisi, Lisi, I got this. Um, I'm sorry? Eh, wrong! I'm sorry for freaking the bark and flower. It's wrong because they're living things and I shouldn't harm them. Next time, I'll appreciate their beauty and nature. Will you forgive me? Yeah! 
Thanks, EC. I got it now. I'm sorry for learning carelessly. It's wrong because it's my responsibility to sort my waste properly. In the future, I will uh, do my waste properly. Uh, will you forgive me? And now, think about how you respect nature and notice and wonder about it and hope your classmates will do good deeds. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I lost in my students. Well, Bianca thing. How will France check my attendance? Oh my goodness. Aaron, can I show you something? Look at the pumpkins. Our pumpkins are orange, but Lucy Ava's and Matthew's are green. That's interesting. I wonder why. And I wonder what we should do. Maybe it's some Halloween magic. I don't know. Haley, whenever I don't know what to do, I think to just do the next best thing. Maybe I can properly recycle Matthew's juice box that he threw on the floor. I'm back. It worked. Thank goodness for those notice and wonder lessons. Thank you, brilliant students. Wait, what about Lisa Ava? Now have you two learned your lesson about disrespecting the environment? Remember everyone, the most important thing from today is the importance of the four-part apology and to always notice and wonder wherever you are. Yeah! Yeah!